No, I do not need that elevator sound, so we'll just kill the alarm switch. We will be prepping for taxiing to runway 04 in just a moment. We are on a quite a busy runway today, so... Call to make up uh, taxi to runway 04. Yeah, right. Parking brake. Off we go. Today we are flying in an aircraft, the Dimrush 2000. I bought it on the Eagle Dynamics sale, and I'm actually quite fond of it, but I'm still very much in training with it. And the reason I want to make that abundantly clear is because um, this is not going to be one of those videos where you see me take off and it's going to everything is gonna go great and I'm the best in the world and stuff like that stuff you never see me do instead it's going to be hey look I'm trying to learn the mirage by adding stress upon what I already know so I'm going to have a hard time with this in fact I'm not even sure I know how on earth to deploy countermeasures or weapons in this thing so, just bear with me, this is going to be a practice run. Uh, the reason I picked the Emirates skin for this is actually twofold. First of all, I feel that the very light desert colors fit well within with uh, the winter environment. Especially with the darker shades, it actually looks fairly good. But also, it's a bit of a tribute to a Rainbow Six cosplayer called Pan, who does some amazing outfits, and as far as I know, he's from the Emirates. Me, and since he and me basically traded compliments, me for his cosplaying skills and he for spending a bunch of time with flight simulators, we felt uh, I felt that, hey, I might as well just give it a shout out. That and I always like different operators than the original one, the Vigan, of course, being the obvious exception to that rule. So, I've loaded the Mirage yeah, 2000 with magic. Uh, magic Missiles for this round. The reason I chose the standard Magics is because they're far easier to fire. Let's see, we don't have anyone on runway 04 just yet, so... But I think we do have someone who's... Looks like we actually might have someone who taxis up ahead, so... I'm going... I'm going to start paying more attention to the radios now, if you people please... Radio check. Yeah, there is a... Uh, looks like to be an A-10 uh, or something standing over there. I can't really make it out from this distance, but at any rate, on the... So before we start, I'm going to make sure that my radio channels are all in order. Uh, of course, as usual, we are using uh, SRS to keep close tabs on the radio. Radio channels are fine. And yes, there was an A10 standing there, so taking this uh, taxi route to the runway. We are going to set the ECM on automatic warm-up. No! I don't want that elevator sound in my cockpit all the time. So that A10 is powering up right now. We'll be beating them to the punch, I think. Uh, that Hornet over there is also powering up, but I don't know what runway they will be picking for. Takeoff. I would have picked uh, the short takeoff uh, if not for this uh, Warthog. 
this wolf hog is the reason I'm picking this uh, the long takeoff. And uh, basically, it's uh, so in case that guy is not on the radio, he won't run straight into me. Yeah, so we got the wolf hog taxiing right behind. Nice of him. Looks like we are going to be his babysitter for the day. Step on the brakes a little bit. Call 2, take off, make up, runway 0, 4. Punch it. And of course we need to stick to the center of the runway. I, for some reason, always is pretty bad at doing this. And up we go. Cold 2 has cleared makeup, pushing channel 253. first vector we are going to go to is uh, 110 because that will take us in the general vicinity of where the action might take place. We're also going to keep climbing. Unlike when we fly a strike aircraft, this is going to be one of those missions where we actually might need as much altitude as possible. Magic call to on station. Call two one push wings one three four decimal zero. Roger that magic. Okay, so we're pushing the human AWX frequency then. Uh, one one three four decimal zero. Call to magic. Magic Mickey five five. Okay, so we've managed to climb fairly high. We are very visible at the moment, but we are heading z one one zero. Heading 110 for 100. Okay, so. Call two copies. So now we have two channels that we are listening to, in case you have no idea what radio channels in DCS are all about. Uh, the first channel is uh, the human AWACS. There is an AI AWACS as well. And to be fair, I would have preferred to use that one. But at this point in time, uh, since there is a human AWACS, I want him, I want to give him stuff to do. It's that simple. Since since he takes the time to sit and be a human AWACS, I have to be kind to him, give him something to do. Besides, it's also quite fun because sometimes you fall up and then you feel guilty towards. Oh, someone just broadcasted up across the band, and I mean literally every. SRS channel just lit up with um, and then at any rate I do actually have separate push to talk buttons for the different channels so I can only talk to one channel at a time but I can listen to both and that is actually quite one of the cooler things so 
We are gonna make liberal use of our F10 map today and make sure that we know a little bit about where we are and... Call 2-1, check left, heading 95. Okay, so check left, heading 95. Call to Magic, uh, heading 095. Call to NA for fun. That actually looks pretty d damn good. Can't deny it. Of course, we're flying a little bit without a radar today because I don't really know how to use the radar yet. Not really. Let's see here. Yeah, fly-by-wire is set to on. Let's check our countermeasures. Yeah, it's set automatic. Two, one. What's the weapons? Call to magic second. Call two one. What state of weapons? Call two four magic gun. Essentially, he wanted to know what kind of weapons I was carrying. Call 2, say again. 4, what? Call 2, 4 magic, gun. Call 2, one. Sure. That is the voice of an ATC who wonders why on earth I didn't pick the Matra 530. The reason I didn't pick it, I don't know how to use it yet. That and uh, Magic uh, Chevy 81 checking in 134. Well, glad to know we're not the only cap up here. I mean, the role of Combat Air Patrol is Chevy 81 Magic. Uh, what's your intent? Looking for uh, cap targets, I have four AIM 120Cs and four uh, AIM 9Xs. Get back on vector 095. And we are back to 095. All is well. Flying a bit low here. Chevy at one, checking in. Push 
Okay, so there's a vegan that has requested fire cover to objective. Call to magic. Nearby vegan has requested to uh, combat air patrol in his sector over. Request to, uh, permission to comply. Okay, so it's Pontiac 1. Let's check what heading we need to go to cover him. Uh, 081. Call 2 1, Bandit 118 for 42, Angel 32, beaming left. Acknowledged. Pontiac 1, this is Dutch uh, Call 2. I will be staying with you, but I got a call for a, for a bandit, so. Let's see, 118. Uh, that's that general direction. Or at least it should be. Um, Yeah, more or less. Let's see here. Yeah, we are on a quite similar heading. I think I can see contrails up ahead. Call to one, I have a visual on him. He's contrailing. Check weapons. Master arm. Lost the visual, he's not contrailing anymore. Now I really wish I knew how to use that radar. Let's switch the that one from automatic and we should be good. Okay, so 56. Ready spike, F-18, Angels 22. Alright, we need to find this guy too. Also, we need to check fuel, but fuel should be good. Yeah, fuel is good. Last call sign, we want a uh, UZ-151. Alright, so let's ditch the afterburner. Actually, let's ditch something else too. Let's ditch the fuel tank. There we go. One magic. Nearest F-18 to you is 48. Uh, for 48. I think I got him. Call 2, Fox 2. 
Splash Tiger. We actually got the bastard. Call two, splash one tiger, my position. Now I know why they call them magic. They're like a magic wand. You basically just shoot them and you hit stuff. Looking good there, Snowblind. The tiger is off your tail. He's got BKs on board. He's going to root someone's day. Okay, so let's check that airfield should actually be in friendly hands. It is, and it has tankers and everything. Five one magic. Let's check. Uni five one magic. Yeah, let's check program one. Uni five one nothing there. Yeah, that was program one, and it was a bunch of chaff. Now I know that it works at least. Uzi 6 1, Bandit 137 for 72, Angel 36. I think that is what actually one of my, the skins one of my mates have made, so I'm gonna. Magic, Uzi 6 1, copy. But we're gonna climb a bit now. I'm just happy that it, so far nothing has gone horribly, horribly wrong. That said, that can change any second. But at least now I know how to pop. That was not a spec. That was something else. Uh, check fuel. I will consider 1000 to be bingo fuel. One thousand kilos is bingo fuel for me. That said, we still have plenty of fuel left. I mean, one thing I have to say about the uh, Mirage cockpit, at least the, uh, at least the uh, English version of it, because g Lord knows I'm not gonna bother with the French one, is that it's very intuitive. I mean, you can look at most of the things one, one, two, nine, four, and realize Bandit. what most of them Angel are for. 36, beaming left. Six, one, copy. So we are going to establish more six, of six, one, a turn patrol over this guy. We really should be trying to stay more ahead of him, but uh, I'm counting on magic to vector me into any oncoming threats. And of course I'm go always going to be happy to escort a fellow vegan. He's doing a fairly good job down there. Uh, dodge to uh, 
I'm trying to figure out how to respond on that because this vegan doesn't really need my assistance, but I'm currently tasked. Um, tasked in actually covering that guy and by extension also covering the KA-50. Basically I'm supporting the anti-ground operations in my area. So depending on how you see it, no I'm not available for tasking. But I'm trying to figure out how to relay that to many. E Also, I'm contrailing, but that's only a bad thing in actual player versus player. In uh, a mission like this, you can usually contrail without. Uzi 4 2, I suggest you go defensive. Okay, so we are, have come a little bit too far away from the Vigan. We're gonna turn right back. And make sure we have a visual on him. Watch over him. Yeah, he's still flying fairly well, but he doesn't really have a center fuel tank. He just have those four BK, so I'm a bit worried about his range at the moment. But here's hoping that he will make it anyway. Once he has released, we will be... Oh, please tell me he didn't... Nah. It's just the server lagging a bit. It would have been sad if it crashed into the ground at this point. Uzi 6 1, bandit in front of you is increasing in speed, getting away. Magic, Uzi 6 1, copies. He's turning on now, uh, Magic. All right, so the KA-50 and this I gotta see. I gotta see when he deploys those bad boys. He should be in range to deploy the BK-90s soon. So we are going to reduce altitude a bit. And Ruby six one could splash. Yeah, I have a visual on the guy. It's going in full speed. All right, let's veer away. Magic, Uzi 6 1. Uh, confirm there's a bandit. 2 2 defensive. Uh, 0 2 0. Slap call sign, say again. Oh, come on, I want to see the BKs. Apparently, I don't get to see the BKs on this thing. In fact, I can't see the BKs anymore. I hope they didn't. Yeah, I don't think he actually hit anything with those BKs. I think it was too low to uh, act, to act, to be able to deploy them with any sort of accuracy.
So I'm gonna type it to him, uh, because I don't know what Etherith channel he is. Yeah, I think we can assume uh, those uh, BKs hit the ground. I'm not going to go into the launch parameters of uh, uh, the BKs on him because I'm, I don't have them in my head. But I'm going to keep uh, covering the guy out of here. Too bad, he had a really good run. And I felt a bit like the big brother to that guy, uh, because uh, I'm watching over him and stuff like that. Also, he flies the vegan, and I'm naturally protective of all the vegans. If I were to fly red side on a multiplayer server, I'm not sure I would ever be able to shoot down a vegan. Because I would just feel, oh god, that th they're flying the vegan, they're nice people. That does not go for the personal servers that I host, and when I fly with my, my, my mates. Because uh, my mates, the only one who gets to kill them is me, and therefore I bomb their airstrips, basically. Okay, so uh, Snowblind is heading home. So we are... we have a little more playtime, I think. Call to magic, available for tasking. Call to one way. Let's just turn off Master Arm so I don't accidentally launch a magic. I don't know why I just, but I just become self-conscious of the trigger. And if I become self-conscious about something, it becomes even easier to, for me to just press it. We got a ton of hawks currently flying in that vector so i'm going to see let's see vector yeah vector 100 multiple hawk launches so then i can even see them on see them on the visual so flying straight in there might not be the best idea but hey so screw being self-conscious we are loading up our magics We're heading for pretty much what, what amounts to the edge of the map, so this is going to be interesting either way. I'm not even sure I've flown over this part of the Caucasus before. Usually I fly over the coastline. Roger that, Magic. Be advised, you've got SAMs to 36 for 20, 84 for 26. And 136 for 40. Enemy 10. Cold 2 will stay on our side of the river. I have about a thousand kilos of fuel left before bingo. So Magic warned me about the enemy Sam's, and that's a good call, so I will be staying on our side of the rivers, as, it's, as it is. Uh, 
we can also have patrol point Natchik, and then we go patrol point Kivlodosk. Magic call to out. And of course, I didn't actually catch what the hell he was saying because I was so busy talking to the vegan driver. Uh, speaking of that, I should be turning towards Naltrick. See here, I want the vector to, yeah, 290. And we will be holding that line. After that, we might actually need an article. Where are you going? Call to magic, I'm in a holding pattern at the moment. I will now check. Four copies. So apparently we had something for us, an enemy helicopter. So we need to keep our eyes open because helicopters are sneaky, they like to stay low. So basically closer to the FOPs, I would wager. Yeah, definitely close to the FOPs, but that doesn't really explain why... ...he hasn't gotten shut down yet, because I wouldn't wager that any helicopter would have been shut down by our SAMs. That said, uh, it might be that I simply do not register what Magic is saying, and if that's the case, then it's all my bad. I mean, it's... Call 2, one, you intercept that helicopter. Call 2 will intercept helicopter. Call 2, one, fly heading 317 for 24. Bandit, helicopter, angels, 1600, cold. 317. Sorry, altitude, 1600. Uh, call 2, copies all magic effects. So we are going for helicopter hunting. That could be interesting. I mean, helicopters is actually some of some of the aircraft I've actually shot down a fair bit of, because basically they are all always easy targets in the Vigan. So yeah, he wanted to uh, array us towards the enemy FARP and probably this area, uh, BAI. So we need to. Be careful in case those areas have uh, dodge to telegreen spot. Roger, 
Let's check our fuel. Yeah, fuel is 500 and... 25 at 5. Counting. Yay, we have a Master Arms friend on the server. So let's have a look and see. Yeah, Snowblind is actually heading back. Which is nice, but I can't see that helicopter. Magic Dodge to one. Do you have Colt to one? Do you have a uh, heading for that helicopter? Are we sure it's a helicopter and not just snow blind flying very low? Yeah, I got him. Uh, call to one tally helicopter. Call to one eight. Let's check out the guns on this thing. Uh, see if we can't splash him with that. Okay, so a little bit faster. Okay, so he's smoking, but we didn't actually get him. That is kind of infuriating. It's come about, and uh, I don't want to waste a magic on this guy. I don't know why magic is uh, why Snowblind is calling blue on blue, but I'm not firing any. Let's see here. Please do not make me waste a magic on this guy. Ah, crap, we're out of guns. We'll have to switch back to the magics. <sighs> I'm not pleased. Not one bit, because I feel that the way that helicopter is smoking, it's supposed to be going down anyway at this point. Box two. Okay, it's going down. Please tell me he's going down. Okay, so we are heading back to base because that was just infuriating. Uh, he's still in the air! Okay, he's getting to eat my last magic and... Magic, call to wish to report the presence of invulnerable enemy helicopters. Call to one understand. Basically that was just me being foolish. I'm gonna get that bastard.
can we agree that I fucking got him by now? Yes, we can agree that I got him. Call to one RDB. Thank you for your help, Magic. I'll just land at the airstrip to my left. Thank you. Got two one understood. Uh, be aware, runway is currently black. They can take you. Copy that. Uh, we'll push channel uh, for four nine zero dash five hundred four eighty six. Okay, so we basically got the permission to change freak to the There we go. Frequency change. Okay, so the Vigan is clear. Magic. Uh, magic is along this frequency. I am magic. <laughs> that was actually kind of funny. Yeah, but you're not supposed to be on this freak. Call to one Mineralny coming in for landing. Final approach. Okay, so we splashed one helicopter and a helicopter that ate three magics, by the way, and almost all my guns. And an F5. So, as I say, we actually did fairly well this mission. Not too shabby for one of my first missions in the Mirage 2000 at all. Speaking of not too shabby, I'm, I actually do need to land in this thing as well. That is where I might actually fail horribly, because I'm not good at landings. I'm not good at landings at all. My landings are, at the best of cases, horribly controlled crashes. And this one is not going to be different. You know why? Because I think I'm doing, doing a lot of things wrong here. So, and this is a very short runway, so prep for brake shoot. And if the brake shoot doesn't pop, then we are fucked. Oh crap. Brake shoot didn't pop, and we've ruined our landing gear. This is not going to end well for anyone. <sighs> this is not going to end well for me. I set the bird down far too hard. So, we can either go for a... What amounts to a controlled crash landing somewhere. Or we could try and eject. I do think that... Uh, Controlled crash landing is going to be the better option. I think my problem was that I came in too hot too hard. So... 
what we need to do is have a look here or here. There, I saw the button earlier. Basically, it was how to force the landing gear down, and I'm not. Yeah, there we have it. Yeah, I don't think the landing gear is going to recover from this. And at the same time, I don't want to block a valuable field with wreckage. Almost there. This is not going to end well. My only hope right now is that... Is that the... My basically only hope right now is that I can actually get the brake shoot working. I don't think I'm going to be able to land this thing. If I am able to land this thing now, it's going to be a miracle. Nah, this is gonna be a very controlled crash. <laughs> I said controlled crash and then the second after I just blew up. And it was with the, basically that killed himself too. And yeah, that is quite an accurate description description of what happened, so I'll take it.